mid-range pull-up could be a small guard's best friend if they are able to knock down that pull-up jumper. From just pull-ups alone, you could easily rack up your stats to double digits. But how do you master the pull-up? What are the keys to having a deadly mid-range jumper? Hit that like button. Class is in session. I'll first go over with you different types of pull-up jumpers. You have your transition pull-ups, which are pull-ups you can take during transition. Long, or I like to call into space pull-ups where you would run into an open area on the floor for a pull-up. Then you'll have those short step pull-ups, which is a regular pull-up jumper, but your footwork will be slightly different. When it comes to the footwork of shooting a pull-up, you'll have times where you would want to create space away from your defender. Then there will be times when you would want to keep space from them. Creating space is simple. You want to be able to run away into an open space or hit them with a move to create space. Keeping space means you already have so much room in front of you or your defender may be trying to beat you to a spot. Say for an example, you're driving hard and your defender thinks you're going to point C. But with your short step, you step to point B while they're at C. Due to you keeping your space by taking a shorter step, you now have a bit more room to get your pull up off. Why? Because remember, you're at point B while your defender is at point C. Let's talk about the motion of your shot. Now due to you shooting jumpers in the mid-range area, you don't need much power, especially if you are driving hard in the paint, which is why I recommend all hoopers to shoot with a two motion shot in the mid-range. Due to you having so much momentum and being so close to the rim, shooting a one motion shot at full speed at that distance will be pretty tough, which is why I recommend a two motion shot down there because you have more control over your jump shot. Now if you are an overall two motion shooter then that's fine, but if you are like me and you shoot deep shots with a one motion and whenever you're close you have a two motion, be aware at times you may shoot a one motion in the mid range, but that will only happen off of certain moves. Say for an example you're driving hard and then you hit your defender with a punch drag or a behind the back stop. 
Now I'm not saying you won't be balanced, but some players at times prefer to shoot with the wrong motion after a move like that because it feels more fluid. But like I stated, it varies to the player. Attacking our defender. No matter if you are in a triple threat, you are in transition, or starting in a half court, getting your defender's hips to turn is important. If they feel threatened by you driving to the cup, they will try their best to stop you. But instead of driving to the cup, you could just stop on a dime and shoot your pull up. Easy too. That's why it's so important to be a player to do both shooting and driving. Your shooting ability is going to make your defender have to step up on you. And add that along with your driving skills, that's a nightmare for him. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide for the mid-range pull-up. Got any video suggestions or questions? Feel free to drop a comment down below or hit me through Instagram. It's your boy JP. Till next time.